I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was like no game audio in the last video. That was weird. Fixed it though. Anyway, this is Ching. You might even say the Ching of China. If you're wondering how this happened, you can watch part one, which is somewhere on your screen probably, or don't watch it. Up to you. We started as Zhen Zhao, formed Manchu, became later Jin, then formed Qing and conquered all of China, and now it's 1500. Oh, also, uh, we spawned colonialism. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I mentioned that part yet. Uh, I have a couple plans in mind for the new world. Hopefully, uh, that'll mess with the Europeans a little bit, while also making my life significantly easier. Colonialism is one of those institutions that spreads fairly quickly. <laughs> Got him. Dude, this game is so easy. My lord. Hmm. Yeah. What should we do with the merchant? He's refusing to repay his loan. Remind him the crown has a lien on his ships. Oh, and one last thing. Have you heard of Raid Shadow Legends? What? Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play game on iOS and Android with over 700 champions to train and collect, amazing graphics, and tons of tough bosses to take on. Speaking of which, take a look at this bad boy. This is the Hydra. The Head of Suffering reflects some of the damage you deal back at your team. The Head of Mischief steals your champion's buffs, spreading them among the heads. And the Head of Torment brings true fear to your team, skipping your turns and blocking your skills. This is just a taste of what the Hydra has in its arsenal and but one of the many challenging fights Raid has to offer. Speaking of offers, do you want a free legendary champion? Come on, don't lie to me, of course you do. Well, all you have to do is log into Raid for seven different days from now until October 23rd to get the legendary Monkey King, Sun Wukong. But if that still isn't enough for you, Raid is adding a new tier of champions above legendary. Mythical champions can metamorph between two forms, each having a different type and abilities. And if you're somehow still not convinced, you also have a chance to get one of the best epic champions, the Stag Knight, including a skin designed for him by JonTron using the promo code JTSKIN before October 7th. Also, by clicking my link in the description and pinned comment, or by scanning the QR code on screen, you'll find a free starter pack with this amazing loot. Oh, uh, that sounds great, my lord. Of course it does. Okay, you can get back to whatever it is that you do. First things first, we gotta clean up a little bit of devastation. It's hurting our mandate quite significantly. Minus 21. Oh yeah, and autonomy. Ah, uh, here's a question. Tolerance of heretics or just missionary strength? I actually, wait. Why would I ever take the bottom option? We're playing Confucian. Everything eventually becomes true faith tolerance. Okay, whatever. Alright, what do we have here? Changes the Temple of Confucius by one. Well, I could decide to upgrade that twice and then press this. Maybe that's a good idea. I just remembered there's an achievement for having three tribes as tributaries. So uh, we'll start with this guy. I'm pretty sure I could get these guys. Yeah, I think these guys would be fine tributaries. Here, let's go with you. And we'll go with you. Wow, that's a really easy achievement I never bothered to get. <laughs> Having a bunch of small tributaries is actually great. Because if I ever get an heir, that sucks. And I don't have enough prestige to disinherit him. I can just ask them for prestige. They don't provide much. They do have one good use case. Here we go, colonist number three. I'm just going to colonize as much as possible. Don't let the Europeans in. Don't have to fight the Europeans. Simple. So funny thing is, uh, I don't have enough governing capacity. I've given out land rights to literally everybody. I haven't unlocked state houses yet. There's nothing I can do. Here, let me upgrade that real quick. I have manpower. That hasn't changed, so I'm assuming it'll still upgrade it by one. Okay, I'll wait for the second upgrade as well then. I've also apparently balanced the mandate. Nice. Prosperous Age of Qing. We are in a golden era, yes. I don't know what this does, though. Always wary of taking events that I don't know what they are. Extends Golden Age by 20 years. I'll take that. And that's the last expansion idea. Here we go. We can pick up more global settler increase. Out of all these options, this one's clearly the best. Governing capacity, harmonization speed. Ooh, you're kind of in the way. What do we have here? I handed out the land rights, I'm gonna get reform progress and estate influence until this guy dies. Which is pretty soon, I mean he's like 66 years old. And since, you know, I did do that, I guess that's fine. Bottom option is, I mean it, it sounds good, but then you have to turn this on and, and this kind of sucks, so yeah. Here, let me just sell some titles real quick, so I can upgrade the temple again. Oh yeah, military reforms, let's go. Big fan of the professionalism, on the other hand. I also like developing with Diplo, sort of a tough one. We can go with both, that's fine. Here's a better idea, let me just uh, repay all those loans real quick. And I'll take out some larger ones, just to upgrade a little bit of the trade around here. Since we aren't really getting everything. Alaska's ready, what am I gonna call this thing? You know, I haven't named things after members in a long time. I'm talking like years. But you know what, we're gonna name it after a member. 
Jamie's coast. Now, if what I've been told is correct, we should be able to click this for every single crown colony in existence. And if we do that, then it just stacks the treasure fleet income. So 20% from this colony, 20% from California, 20% from Mexico, it just keeps on stacking. And uh, what do you know? The capital happens to be gold. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> also possible I've been lied to. I don't know why someone would do that though. You know, go on the internet, tell lies. That's no way. Okay, I know I have max mandate. I just want to finish these ships so I can get an extra colonist. It's like this one down here. That's a fourth colonist for us in 1507. Not even sure where to put that one. What kind of range do I have? I guess we could put it down here. Wait, you're telling me I have to expand the infrastructure in each of these provinces? Well, that, that canal can't be that bad, right? Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Level 2 canal for all of them. That's 12,000 buckets. <laughs> On second thought, expanding infrastructure is very reasonable. First of all, we're gonna slap this back on just because this guy has been living forever. I don't know. He might be immortal. Oh yeah, that's that's good. That's great. I'd love to see that. And California's done. I'm not very original with names, but here you go, another channel member. Now, if I enlarge the gold fleet again, hmm, I'm only at 25%. That's odd. Pretty sure I should have 65% now. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's send it some money and move on. There he goes, finally. The old age of like 77 or something. Now, I could move the capital, keeping it in Beijing is cool and all that, but uh, we don't have to worry about the northern frontier. Seems like it doesn't really matter where we put it. We get mandate either way. I will just put it here, that's fine. I will have to move my trade capital back though. Here we go, age of reformation. You know what, I should accept Korean culture. That would make a lot of sense. Also, let me just... Uh, uh, turn that off. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. 645 with a weak claim. Well, weak claims don't matter anymore. They haven't for years. And his name is Bombogor. I should have changed the first B to an H. Bombogor? <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, let's embrace that institution. It does mean I have a little bit too much mill power, but that's okay because we need more professionalism. On top of that, we could use an extra army, I guess. Just finish the green standard, extinguish Ming, and then yeah, that's actually a problem. You see, the force limit really big. <laughs> it it kind of creates an issue for us. Love these kinds of events. Yeah, I'll take that Diplo. I'll also focus on Diplo. Okay, now I do actually have admin, so I. Yes, I could use it to invade Japan, if that's what you really want. Anyway, Green Standard Army. 10 mandate, 20,000 manpower. Sounds fantastic. Uh, the only weird part is like, why did I need 50 army professionalism for that? That's kind of weird. <laughs> Distinguish Ming, extra base, plus it upgrades this guy who's, uh, to be honest, not that great. So we might as well. <laughs> Cores on all unowned provinces on the China subcontinent. Uh, you're a little bit late to that, but I appreciate the effort. Oh, hey, isn't this popularize the banners thing something I have to grab? Uh, we'll do that in a little bit. Okay, so I know that the game wants me to get 90% of the force limit, but like, I'm just gonna pretend a little bit. I'm not actually gonna keep these. Okay, 10 great campaigns. Sounds great. So, Ashikaga. Hmm. I don't really mind the Diplo cost. I'm just gonna annex them. Doink. There we go. All the buildings are done. The ruler becomes a great engineer. Upgrades workshops. Okay, cool. All right, Hosokawa for the crime of... I don't know. They didn't really do anything. Existing on my border without paying tribute. You're getting your fort privileges revoked. Except that's like a little bit too much overextension. So I'm just gonna like, yeah, maybe pull that in a little bit. And I'm gonna upgrade this monument again. Oh, right. Harmony. We're still harmonizing. I forgot about that. We'll get around to it. Anyway, I do have a lot of mandates. So, uh... How about I grab, sure, whatever, that works. Say, how is it going on over there in Europe? Not a single piece of colonialism in sight. Aw, oh, does someone not know about the new world? Tragic. Even a doll's getting something going. Uh, don't ask me how, I have no idea. <laughs> how are you doing this? Arar Jugol, you're telling me there's a Trapitaka in Asia and there's just this monument in Africa. Everyone gets free institutions. All right, man, whatever. Oh, I should definitely upgrade this monument as well. Now, as for this gold mine, uh, I'm gonna go with we're gonna find nothing. I stand corrected in the best way possible. It's expensive, but 10 mandate is 10 mandate. Also, it's really funny, but the Galapagos Islands, for some reason, bond gold? I don't know what the chances of that are, but I will definitely turn that into a state. And I will definitely be developing that. I'm gonna spend a little bit of admin boosting up to 3 stability, because apparently we need it, particularly for this mission. Ooh, I don't know what that is. In terms of mandate, that's, uh, point... 
36 times 25 versus 5. Now, uh, I'm no mathematician, but 0.36 times 25 seems like a lot more than 5. So we'll definitely take this one. As for this, enables the use of the three grand coordinator offices. I don't know what that is. All right, what, 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 what is this? Ooh, <laughs> I like that a lot. A hundred Diplo for that, though. That's expensive. Perfection of Ming porcelain. Oh, yeah, the economy seems relatively healthy. You know, just a little bit of money. Now, yeah, just a touch. <laughs> you know what I should do? I'm going to invade Oirat. They've had it too good for too long. I'm going to pick these up, too. Oh, how about offensive ideas? That's a good one. New decree after so long. Uh, we'll take the top one. Now we can have all level five advisors. While I'm here, uh, I'm just going to grab that, too. I have a lot of claims to get through. Right. Also, uh, I want to see a little bit of Mexico, if that's OK. <laughs> wait, wait, I can't. I built a spy network of size 57 in this country, and then they got vassalized. I hate flower wars so much. I'm just going to build like three spy networks. All right, you give land. Thanks. After a very long time, we finally ended off the Yuan. Hey, at least that's an extra 50 power projection. Really useful considering I have no other source of power projection right now. <laughs> also, I have a slight bone to pick with you. Hold on, is that missing localization in my EU4 in the year of our Lord 2023? Unplayable. I'm gonna have to close the game, sorry. See you guys later, as always, have a fantastic day. Ooh, that's expensive, but it's also 10 mandate. You know what? Just give me more loans. Why not? I just, I love loans. Seven loans so far. Oh yeah, why not? Let's take another one. <laughs> Wait, Alaska, what are you doing here? <laughs> Wait a minute. You can afford to send people across the Pacific, but you're only colonizing one province? Come on, man. Do I need to give you free money or something? What are you, broke? Okay, ho hold on a second. So now I'm getting the 20% bonus. <laughs> what, what changed? I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what happened. I do know what happened. They got over 10 provinces. That's it. It's really stupid, but that's gotta be it. Well, anyway, am I gonna go with the green standard army or eight banners? Honestly, probably the eight banners. Movement speed is all right. Extra banners. Uh, the tradition decay. That's important because we really don't fight a lot of people that often. Oh, hold on. Uh, max mandate again. Whoops. I've been wasting that. How about we establish Li Fan Yuan? Ah, harmonization. Perfect. All the advisors are super cheap now. All right, congratulations. You're Confucian now. Have fun. And you know what? You're also Confucian now. Congrats. Such a nice guy spreading Confucianism. Totally not just like, you know, softening the land up for conquest or anything. No, I, I wouldn't do that. That would be like almost evil or something. Certainly never something I would do. Anyway, let's sell some crown land. All right, here we go. Let's see that level three Temple of Confucius. That's real nice. Oh yeah, I could take almost the rest of Japan, couldn't I? Here, uh, we have a claim on that, sure. Okay, I have a slight problem. Uh, it's called having too much admin and nothing to spend it on. I do not conquer land quickly enough. It's actually a problem. So I'm gonna have to solve that problem by obviously invading people. Uh, okay, yeah, just another another plague. That's great. Third time we've had this event. I've only been emperor for like, I don't know, 40, 50 years tops. No, that's that's cool. The whole having too much admin thing isn't really solved by the fact that I have like half cost scoring. Anyway, how about we declare a war on uh, this guy? Sure, I'll take that. And uh, you know what? I'll, I'll just keep declaring war on people. Who even cares? I'll declare war on you too. Same thing with Diplo. We have a little bit too much of that, but you know, at least I can just like press a button and that solves the problem. Production efficiency plus a whole lot of production. This is good to put pretty much everywhere. And also I should declare on you because why not? All right. So you, it's really just about taking one province. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take that and that then. See ya. There we go. We've integrated Taiwan. That gives us Navy tradition. A couple other things I don't actually care about. Also claims on the Philippines. That's weird. Why would Ching get claims on the Philippines? Did they ever own the Philippines? I don't think so. Hold on. I'm going to do some research. No, I don't, I don't see anything about the Philippines on the Wikipedia article. Weird. Okay. I wasn't sure who I could get claims on. So I just got like a, a whole bunch of spy networks. Ideally, we just get a claim on anybody, anybody at all. Yeah, I'll just grab a claim on you. Sure. You know, 500 dockets for 25% off. That's actually not bad. I might actually take that. Write this one down. First player to ever actually take the top option. Okay. Ayutaya, please leave. Those guys do not give up. Do they even have claims on these provinces? No, not really. Well, th that's just too bad, man. <laughs> really quite tragic. Blink. Okay, let's actually use that monument improvement thing. I don't have to like boost the monument. I'll just start them. Mexico, what shall we name you? Siluexico. <laughs> 
Oh, hey there, Castillo. <laughs> Hope you weren't thinking of, uh, you know, invading Mexico anytime soon. That certainly would dampen the mood. Alright, looks like I have full harmony again, so I'll grab Mahayana. Seems alright. Okay, we have an army, or whatever's left of it in Mexico. Let's get started. More colonial nations, alright. Alejandro Umbia it is. Oh, wait a second, what am I doing waiting for this? <laughs> okay, we'll take all this, it'll go to our subject. I won't have to court anything. <laughs> Good luck to those guys, though. <laughs> Let's grab more gold. Also, you know what? It would be funny to turn you into a tributary, so I will. Also, just gonna grab some more money, why not? Pay off all the loans. Maybe upgrade this monument for more global settlers. Wait, I can get minus 33% colony cost modifier. Hold on a second. So I tested it, and uh, yeah, it applies the minus 35% before increasing the cost of the colony from having too many colonies. There we go. That would be 10 mandate, though, so let me just grab something. I would like an extra diplomat, yeah, it gets really annoying with all these 80, 90 day returns. It takes ages. Now, let's take that. Oh, look at the little Europeans colonizing. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. You go, little buddy. Mexico's almost done courting stuff, so we might as well give them more stuff to court. Oh, also, uh, I do have to declare war on you for a very particular reason. Yoink. And yoink. Ooh, actually, you're kind of in the way, too. Hmm, sorry. Annexation. Hey Europe, how's it going? Hey, did you guys know that the world is actually like really big? <laughs> Crazy, right? Also, that's colonial Mamluks. Oh, yeah, colonial Ottomans too. I I don't even know what to think about that. What is happening? Why? That's the last offensive idea. Gives us more advisor costs, not that we really need it, but also some more settler chance. Perfect, more gold, that's what I needed. I'm sure this won't do anything to the economy. Yeah, this war might have taken a little bit longer than I wanted it to. The only reason I wanted all of that is uh, for this monument, because we need more governing capacity. It's a really big problem, actually. Anyway, let's sell some titles, take some land back. There's another monument I want to upgrade to level 3, and that's this one for 5% more settler chance and 10 more global settler increase. If you're wondering, a colony like this is increasing by like, I don't know, what is that? 200, 350 people per year? Yeah, something like that. If you thought Portugal was good at colonizing, which to be fair, they are. I think they might be beat a little bit by Ching. Oh yeah, this will be fun. This will be great. Here, uh, let's upgrade that. I really don't usually like taking these ahead of time, but I do need that governing capacity. Plus, there's nothing else to spend admin on, so I guess so. Bruh. Oh, gambling, let's go. Let's go. That's why you should always gamble. Oh yeah, that's, that's what we need. <laughs> This might genuinely be one of my best runs ever, and it's wasted on Colonial Ching. <laughs> oh, of course, that's that's great, that's cool. Love those events. Alright, we can peace out with Chimu. I don't particularly care about taking your stuff right now. Although, could I? I could full annex you, hmm. Ooh, just in time, Empress Regency. Well, that'll only last like two years, plus the Empress isn't half bad. Okay, now, Cusco. I'll just take the gold mines and come back in a little bit. Just, uh, yeah, get rid of those alliances. That's pretty annoying. Okay, let's go ahead and full annex these guys. Doink. Wow, all of these advisors suck. Uh, let me go ahead and grab some better ones. I guess I would take that. Sure, whatever. Okay, I think this Diplo power is best spent on developing the gold mines in the New World. Here we go. 646 Empress. Air is uh, okay, I guess. Oh, I completely forgot this belongs to the Columbia colony, right? Oh, that's funny. Mexico's looking like they could fit a little bit more land, maybe. In fact, I'd rather just take the whole thing before someone else decides to, like, I don't know, Portugal, maybe. So, uh, yeah, we might as well get started. Here we go, Peru's finally done. I'm gonna have to get a bit creative with these names. This one's for Erica. Like a mix of Erica and Peru. Peruca? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I fixed the governing capacity, so we can actually finish off Japan now. <laughs> Took me long enough. Okay, it's about to get funky, watch this. Boost up stability twice. We finished this. I went with Exile Colonial Companies, right? This one right here. Which means when we complete this, we get an extra colonist. A fifth one. <laughs> Plus, all the colonies are an additional 10% cheaper. And so Empress John wept, for there were no more worlds to explore. And that's okay, because I'm pretty sure at this point we can probably circumnavigate. Or at least try. There we go, that's all of Japan. That wasn't too bad. It's a whole mess of a peace deal. Uh, all the alliances are horrible to get through. But uh, I think I can pull off something that kind of looks like this, maybe? And we can grab this stuff, and I'll come back in a little bit for the rest of it. Assuming I can take the rest of it. I don't know, maybe. I'm not gonna check. Then I'll just go ahead and take... Oh, you, you're really annoying. Wow, you know that? You're, you're super cringe. <laughs> okay, well, uh, screw you two. We'll come back and kill you later. 
Let's go, baby. Really wish that prestige carried over into points, but I guess it's a lot of prestige, so that's reasonable. I'll just decrease a little bit of liberty desire. Okay, next, let's invade this guy. All right, count them, ladies and gentlemen. That is nine colonies colonizing at the same time. It's really not even that expensive. Could go for 10. Not sure if I want 10. Although it really wouldn't be that bad if I just like sell some titles and the Chin Wang become even happier. Oh shoot, I wasn't even paying attention. I have too much mandate. Whoops. What do I even want? We can, uh, promote the generals, sure. Okay, Muisca. You know what? I'm actually just gonna make you into a tributary. I don't care. If Transoxiana wants to be a tributary, by all means, absolutely. I didn't even check which I could establish. Bengal? Ooh, you do have some of Tibet. Okay, for the time being, sure. Maybe that 10th colony is a little bit too much. <laughs> Here, let me ask for something from Zanzibar, like, uh, yeah, I'll take that, thank you. Oh, I'm stupid, I could have gotten so many more merchants. I have not been trade companying everything. All right, we have more land to take, let's get started. Oh yeah, I guess I do have a little bit more left to conquer back home. A few more claims I could grab. Anyway, here's another new colony. That should work. Ah, printing press. One of the few institutions we can't spawn. Good thing it costs like nothing to develop. I'm not even playing Korea. This is like minus 120% dev cost. Oh, I love this game so much. Okay, full annexation for both of you. Mm, what am I gonna call this? Australia. There it is. Okay, are we done? Yoink. Now let's sell some titles, take some land back. Oh, what is what is happening to you? Bro, what? What did you do? Okay, okay, I, I'm intervening. This is stupid. Speaking of wars though. Okay, I'm just gonna take that. You know what? Just because I can... I am gonna colonize Greenland. It has absolutely no value whatsoever. No trade, no strategic purpose, just a flex on the Europeans. Like at this point, I've messed with the game scaling so much. It's it's not even close. It's not even a contest. It's 1554. This is the minimum money I make each year. Uh, the real amount is somewhere in maybe double that. I receive 360 ducats in treasure fleets like twice a year from Peru, Alaska, California, similar situation. I actually don't have like profitable buildings to build anymore. They're just like, oh, sure, let's get 0.1 ducats in tax. Let's do that. Manufacturings, built them all, except for like these ones, but I'm going to use those for soldiers' households. You know what? We're just going to keep on invading people. Why not? Let's, let's do that. And we find El Dorado. Okay, pack it up. We've won the game. Perfect. All right, next, you two. You know, funny thing is, I'm pretty sure some form of a printing press was actually invented in China at some point, like before the other printing press in Europe. You know, the fact that we even have to rediscover the printing press is kind of funny. Well, Reddit, we'll go after you two. At least we can connect up a little bit of this land. You know, at this point, I, I kind of feel like I've done everything I wanted. <laughs> I'm just going for like side quests. Like I made Zanzibar into a world port just cause there's really no reason. Uh, same thing with the Gold Coast, just to steal some Ivory Coast trade. Here, let me just grab that too. Well, that's all of Peru, I guess. I'll just go ahead and finish off my claims here. And you? Yeah, I'll go with you too. This is just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I am making thousands of ducats a year in 1557. <laughs> there we go. That's the institution. Now, I only want a couple of provinces, just whatever I have claims on. I want cool looking borders. Other than that, I don't really care that much. Oh, wait, were you colonizing here, France? Oh, that's funny, man. <laughs> Sorry. You know, you were just going so slow. I didn't think you had an actual interest in the region. My bad. Treaty of Tordesillas? Never heard of it. Sounds made up, to be honest. All right, let's finish this thing. Oh, right. Also, we need to uh, go for this one for a mission. For said mission, I also need to give an estate a single whip law, which is really cringe and I don't want to because I don't like it very much. But we can easily revoke it, so that's okay. And then we just press that. There we go. Great tax reform. Oh, just more gold. Fantastic. I love to see that. Nope, nothing changed. Okay. <laughs> that's so weird. It specifically has to be an ally. It can't be your own subject. Well, that's dumb. Well, anyway. All right, I'll take that. Maybe just like all of that. That's cool, thanks. All right, you know what? I think that's a good place to end things off. We are clearly not only the strongest country in the world, but like, it's not even close. I make more than three times what the Ottomans make, and they are the second strongest power in the game. Sure, they have 187,000 men. That is like, you know, maybe, maybe close to us. You know, pretty close. Thing is, there are also more achievements, so I'm not sure if I want to keep doing this. It's just like, my brain is kind of melting into mush. I'm really just putting down a whole bunch of colonies, trying to figure figure out how to extract as much gold as possible, which is going well, by the way, thank you. 
it's just it's so much money <laughs> i've built uh pretty much every manufacturing that's worth building for money maybe a, a couple extra here and there workshops more or less done tax more or less done uh marketplaces and trade more than done i've just been trolling other countries at this point oh by the way here's europe nothing too fancy it's just like spain hasn't formed which is weird i could ally france if i wanted to this is just one of those runs that's a real gift from the universe but that gift can sometimes get a bit stale after a while so i'm gonna regret saying this but if you want a part three to Colonial Ching, I don't even know what I would do at this point. You're going to have to give me suggestions, but 4,000 likes. Okay, I'm setting the bar high because I don't know what else to do. I don't really want to do it, but if you guys really want to see it, then I guess I could make it happen. But thank you very much for watching. If this is somehow your first time here and you didn't watch part one, you should subscribe. That would be a good idea. Uh, and leaving a like, you know, towards that 4,000 goal might also be a good idea. But for now, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. A big thank you to the patrons this month who all receive early access, including Baby Cal, Isaac, Cravat, Nick Steffel, Q Brute, Quiet Guy, Torvalth, Ambient Cyan, Robert Kaleno, James Levy, Luke, Chewy Shoot, The Watcher, Brova, Robert, and Jamie.